Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad geometry problem and here we have a nice right triangle in which the length of its one side is 79 and we find the parameter and area of this right triangle. So that here first we find the length of the other two sides of this right triangle and then we move towards our final destination which is parameter and area. So that here first we uh, denote the, uh, this side by small a so it means that this is uh, this length is denoted by small a and this side length is denoted by small b and this side length is denoted by small c. So here because this is the right triangle uh, so here we use the nice Pythagoras theorem and you very well know about the Pythagoras theorem. So, in Pythagoras theorem, we know that uh, hypotenuse square equals to base square plus perpendicular square. So, uh, you know that in right triangle, the side opposite to the right angle is known as hypotenuse. So, this is our hypotenuse and uh, if we call this is the any other angle. So, the line join these two angles is known as the base and this side is denoted by perpendicular. So, uh, here we substitute the values of H, B and P. So, we say that our hypotenuse is C. So, we substitute it here. This will become C square equals to our B is A. So, this is A square plus our perpendicular is denoted by B square. So, here we again substitute the value of A. So, it will become C square equals to the value of a is 79 so it will become 79 square plus b square so now uh, we move this b square to the left hand side uh, of this equation so that it will be written as c square minus b square equals to 79 square and the 79 square equals to 6241 so in the next step uh, here we need some simplification so uh, you see in the left hand side it is mm, c square minus b square so here we use in a very well known identity and you know that if we have a square minus b square it is equals to a minus b times of a plus b so here we use this nice square identity so according to this identity we will write this term as c minus b times of c plus b and this is equals to 6241 so in the next step uh, you see here in the left hand side we have two factors are multiplied by each other but in the right hand side we have only one factor uh, so we convert the right hand side in the multiplication of two factors so uh, we know that uh, the product of 79 with 79 is equals to 6241 and the other uh, uh, possibility in which we get 6241 is 1 multiplied by 6241 so it is also equals to 6241 so we have these two possibilities in which we get the product of two numbers is 6241 so we convert this in two cases so that our first case is we compare the left hand side with these two numbers and the second case is we compare the left hand side with these two numbers so here we write our first case or case one so in case one uh, we uh, first compare these two terms uh, with the, uh, these terms so that we will uh, write it as c minus b equals to 79 and c plus b equals to 79 so this is our case number one and in case number two uh, we compare the left hand side with these two numbers so that we will get here c plus b equals to 6241 and c minus b equals to 1 so we have these two cases and now we solve these two cases uh, simultaneously so first we solve case number one so in case number one if we subtract these two equations then uh, we just change the signs and you see here this positive and negative c are cancelled by each other and here we get 
minus b minus b becomes minus 2 times of b and this is plus and minus equals to 0. So here we get the value of b equals to 0. But if you focus on the question statement and you see here this is our b is the perpendicular side of this right triangle. So if in in triangle any length length of any side of triangle cannot be 0. So if b is 0 then it cannot be possible and we will reject it this case because this case gives us the length of one side is 0. So now uh, we proceed here this case only and in this case here first we add these two equations. So when we add these two equations so this positive b and negative b are cancelled by each other and here we get 2 times of c equals to 6241. So here we move this 2 to the right hand side and we get c equals to 6241 divided by 2. So here we get the value of c equals to so when we divide 6241 uh, by 2 so it will be equals to so here uh, when we add the right hand side this will be equals to 6242 so this number with the 42 so when we divide it by 2 it will becomes 3121 so this is the value of c similarly we again for on these two terms and uh, now uh, in this case we just uh, uh, first we add these two terms so here we can write first we add these two terms we call this as equation number one and this as equation number two here we add these two terms and now we subtract equation number one and equation number two so when we subtract these two equations it means that we just change these signs so when we change the signs, so this positive and negative c are gone and we get b plus b equals to 2b and 6241 minus 1 equals to 6240. So uh, in the next step uh, we just divide this 2 to the right hand side and here we get the value of b equals to 3120 so this is the value of b so here first we find all three values so this is the value of b c and the value of a are given so now we uh, substitute the values of b and c here so the value of c is 3121 and the value of b is 3000 120 so here we have uh, that we are uh, uh, find all the length of the given triangle so now here first we find the parameter of the given triangle so we know that about parameter so parameter equals to the sum of all three sides of the triangle and so we have the length of a is denoted by 79 and the value of b is 3120 and the value of c is 3121 so when we sum up all these three values so you get here the value of p is 6320 so this is the our required parameter and now in order to find the uh, area so we need to use the area formula so we know that our area equals to 1 over 2 times of base multiplied by its height okay so uh, our base in the right triangle is 79 and its height is perpendicular or b so we substitute these two values here 79 into 3120 so when we simplify all these values then finally we get the area is 1 2 3 Two four zero. So this is the required area of the given triangle and this is the final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.